Representative Kevin Yoder apologized today after an embarrassing revelation over the weekend. The Republican from Kansas was part of a congressional delegation that traveled to Israel last summer. He and some others went for a late night swim in the Sea of Galilee, all of them clothed, except Yoder. In a statement today, Yoder said, regrettably, I jumped into the water without a swimsuit. It's certainly not an incident that I'm proud of. Uh, you know, it happened over a year ago and uh, something that um, uh, was obviously a mistake on my part. And, um, you know, I want folks in the district to know that uh, I'm apologetic for it. To the extent that folks are embarrassed or disappointed in me, uh, I certainly feel regret for that. Okay. What about, um, th there were some incidents when, when you were initially running with, um, really close to the election day with, with the breathalyzer test you took and do you think this is going to allow some of those issues to come up like are people going to be looking for is there a pattern with with you possibly having drinking issues I, I know you said that that wasn't it didn't play a role but but is that a concern of yours that people will try and link those two together well my wife and i in this incident you know we had wine at dinner uh alcohol did not play a role in the de in the decision to jump in the water uh, it was a spontaneous moment uh, where other members of Congress were jumping in, and I made the mistake of, of diving in, and uh, it uh, was in for about 10 seconds and, and got back out, and it's uh, obviously a mistake and something I regret. Okay. So you're, are, are you nervous, though, that people will try and link those two together, or, or that people will be looking for for that that is an issue with you? No, I think people understand this is an issue that is more related to a spontaneous decision and, um, and uh, understand that uh, alcohol didn't play a role in the decision that I made. Okay. I mean, how much wine had you had that night? Just a little bit with dinner. A little. Okay. Um, you mentioned that, that your wife is smarter than you. <laughs> what, what did she say afterwards? Well, a lot of our wives are smarter <laughs> than us, I think. But, uh, you know, she's obviously disappointed in me. And, um, uh, you know, at, at, at the time, at the moment, it seemed like a good decision on, on my part. And, and clearly, uh, the more I thought about it, I thought, well, that was kind of a boneheaded decision to make. And I uh, regretted it and certainly still regret it today. And uh, uh, I can understand if, you know, constituents are disappointed in me or folks may be embarrassed. And that's why I just want to come out and make sure people uh, understand that I'm apologetic and, and regret uh, the incident. You said something interesting earlier um, about, I mean, the timing of this is sort of interesting. You've had the front pages of Star had two Republicans sort of caught up in stories I'm sure they wish they weren't involved in, and the, the Todd Aiken issue came up, and, and you said that, I, I think, I, I know this isn't quite direct, but you said something along the lines of, that's possibly the most regrettable part of this is that I'm somehow getting linked to this. I, can you elaborate a little bit more on this? Well, I mean, I, I'm focused on my incident that okay. occurred, and, and certainly um, yeah, dealing with that with constituents and, and uh, you know, the issues related to that, making sure people know that I'm back to work, and uh, focused on the economy and, and the spending issues that people are really concerned about. But I want them to know that I'm taking this seriously and uh, that, uh, you know, I regret the incident. Are you hoping to get it all out right ahead so you can move on with it? Is, is that the plan? Well, I think I've been very forthright and honest okay. about what occurred. And, uh, and making sure people understand the details and, 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 and why I feel uh, remorseful for it. And uh, I think most uh, Americans and most folks in the 3rd District of Kansas are very worried about uh, the economy. They're very worried about the future for their children. And so, you know, I'm still spending my days working hard on uh, providing uh, opportunities for small businesses to succeed, for the economy to get going again. And so that's where I'll focus my time and attention. But uh, as this issue comes up, I certainly want to make sure I address it and, uh, and answer all questions that may exist from it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your right. Yeah, great. I have Thanks a real quick then. question oh, for you. Um, because this did happen over a year ago, the timing, any idea or can you, are you willing to comment on why you think, why it's coming out now? No, I mean, like I said, it, it, you know, it happened over a year ago. Uh, it's something that, uh, that I regretted at the, at the time. I regret it today. And, you know, I'm just out to talk to constituents about, uh, about the incident itself and make sure that people understand that I'm apologetic for it and that I'm ready to get back to work and continue to focus on the issues that matter to the uh, constituents in the district.